In a previous lecture, we covered the basics of stability and determinacy for structures. In this presentation, we're going to build on that knowledge by working through an example problem. Consider this structure. We want to determine whether it is stable. If so, we will then assess whether the system is statically determinate or indeterminate. Working through this example should help solidify our understanding of these basic concepts. The structure has two fixed supports, one here and one here. Additionally, there is a rocker support here and a smooth pin-connected collar here. As a reminder, the collar is free to slide along the length of the beam, like this. So, we can treat it as a roller support. To determine if the structure is stable, we need to consider whether the entire structure or any part of it fails to satisfy the equilibrium conditions. If we draw the free body diagram for the structure as a whole, we get a total of seven unknown support reactions. There are three reaction forces at each fixed support and a vertical reaction force at the rocker. Since we have three static equilibrium equations for the entire structure, we might be tempted to conclude that the structure is stable and statically indeterminate, given that the number of unknowns is greater than the number of equations. However, that would be an incorrect conclusion. To arrive at a definitive conclusion, we also need to examine any part of the structure that we might suspect could be unstable. In this case, we can divide the structure into two parts, a beam that is fixed at both ends and a frame that rests on the rocker and the collar. Let's draw the free body diagram for each segment. For the frame, there is a vertical reaction at the rocker and a vertical reaction at the collar. Since the collar can slide along the length of the beam and is pin connected to the frame, there would be no horizontal reaction force or bending moment at that point. For the entire structure to be in equilibrium, each part needs to satisfy the equilibrium conditions. However, if we examine the frame closely, we can see that it is supported by two vertical reaction forces only. This means that if we subject the frame to a horizontal load, since there is no reaction force in the horizontal direction, the sum of the forces in that direction for the frame does not add up to zero. Consequently, the frame does not satisfy all the equilibrium conditions, meaning the frame, and hence the entire structure, is unstable. Let's consider another variation of the structure. Suppose we replace the rocker with a pin support. How does that affect the stability of the system? Here is the free body diagram of the two parts of the structure. Note that now there is a horizontal reaction force associated with the frame. So, when we subject the frame to a horizontal load, the presence of this reaction force ensures that all three equilibrium equations are satisfied. Therefore, no instability arises in the frame. Since the beam is fixed at both ends, we know it is stable. Which means, the structure as a whole is stable. To determine if the system is statically determinate, we compare the number of unknowns to the number of equations. There are three unknown reaction forces associated with the frame, and six additional unknowns associated with the beam for a total of nine unknown forces. We can write three static equilibrium equations for the frame and three more equations for the beam. For a total of six equations. Since the number of unknowns is greater than the number of equations, the structure is statically indeterminate. This means we cannot determine all the unknown forces using the available equations. The degree of indeterminacy of the system is the difference between the number of unknowns and equations. Therefore, our structure is indeterminate to the third degree. To wrap up the lecture, let's examine another variation of the problem. Suppose the beam is fixed at the left end but free at the right end. Does this change make the structure unstable? 
Here is the free body diagram of the system. We have already established that the frame is stable. By removing one of the fixed supports, we have turned the beam into a cantilever, which we know is a stable structure. Therefore, the system as a whole is stable. For this configuration, there are a total of six unknown reaction forces and six equilibrium equations. Since the number of equations equals the number of unknowns, the system is statically determinate. If we know the relevant dimensions of the system and the applied loads, we can determine the support reactions solely using the equilibrium equations. I hope this lecture has helped clarify the concepts of stability and determinacy. We will examine more example problems in future lectures.